<laughs> Hi friends, welcome back. So today I bring you guys another video and this is going to be a tutorial on this look that I am wearing right here. I really like the way that this look came out, so of course I had to put a tutorial for you guys. So, if you guys want to know how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. So to start off this look, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Bobbi Brown eye base this is my favorite favorite eyeshadow base in the whole entire universe it's so light really keeps your eyeshadows on all day and really makes them pop so that's that's what I'm here for so I'm just applying this with a little applicator that comes with it and then I'm just blending it out with a fluffier brush I like a fluffier brush more than I like the flat brush that I'm usually used to and now I'm going in with makeup geek eyeshadow in the shade frappe and it's kind of like creme brulee, which everybody's like in love with, but it's just a little bit more deep and a little bit more red tone. So I'm just taking this on my fluffy brush and placing this all in the crease as my transition shade. We want the crease to be warm as per usual. I kind of do a lot of warm looks. I'll do a cool tone look soon, I promise. <laughs> For our next shadow, I'm grabbing Coco Bear, also by Makeup Geek, on that same fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start working this more directly in the crease as opposed to just blown out all in the crease. Like I usually do. I feel like I say that exact line in like every single one of my tutorials. But that's basically what I'm doing, except that I'm also putting this on the inner and outer corners very sloppily. It doesn't have to be too precise. It doesn't have to be anything like that because in the final look, you won't even be able to see it. This is just kind of a transition even for our inner and outer corners, if that makes any type of sense. Now I'm grabbing the color Mocha, also by Makeup Geek, which is kind of like an ashy brown. It's not as deep of a brown as I'm usually used to, but yeah, that's what we're grabbing. And I'm grabbing it with a pencil brush by Makeup Geek. And I'm just putting this right in that inner and outer corners just to give it a little bit more depth to the eye. We kind of want to make sure the inner and outer corners are very, very deep. And we just want to leave the center blank because we are going to put a very fun and very pretty pop of gold right in the center. So now with that same pencil brush by Makeup Geek, I'm grabbing Corrupt, which is a super matte black eyeshadow. Literally one of the blackest eyeshadows I have ever seen. It's like mind-blowing. And I'm just putting this on my inner and outer corner as well, and I'm working it very, very, very slightly into the crease, barely putting any pressure on my brush when I go in there. I literally want to put the smallest amount of color in the crease. Then I'm going to go back in with that original fluffy brush that we used with Frappe and with Coco Bear, and I'm just going to blend that out so there's no harsh lines. Now for the star of the show, I'm grabbing this Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Untamed, which is like an antique gold kind of shade. It's super bright, super pigmented. I love it so much. I think it just pulled everything together. I cannot say enough good things about it. And by the way, I am using my brush dry. I did not spray any Fix Plus or anything on my brush, so this is just pure eyeshadow like just the foiled eyeshadow and I, I just can't even wrap my mind around it it's so beautiful so stunning so I'm just using a flat brush any flat brush will do really I'm just putting this right where we didn't have any of the black or brown shadows and I'm going into corrupt again on that 
pencil brush. I think it might be a crease brush now. I feel like that's what it said there. I'm going to leave that brush in the description box because I'm not positive what the name of it is, but I'll leave it down below for you guys just in case you like the brush, want to purchase it, whatever floats your boat. So I'm just using Corrupt again on the inner and outer corners and I'm not picking up too much product. I kind of just want to blend the gold and black so it's a little bit more seamless. And then I'm going in with that blending brush again with no additional product and just blending everything together. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a liner and this is MAC Black Track Fluid Line. And I'm taking this on an Anastasia number 3 brush. I believe that's the eyeliner brush's name, the number 3 brush. And I'm not doing a wing liner. I'm just going to do a pretty small, or I'm going to attempt to do a pretty small line just right across the lid. Not winging it out, not flicking it out, nothing special. Just a straight, boring line. I did want to keep this more rounded. I didn't want it to be too cat eye shaped so that's why I didn't go in with a wing liner. Now we're quickly moving on to the face. I'm just going to use some concealer. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer first. And I'm just going to put this right underneath my eyes just because we did use dark shadows and fallout is never a girl's best friend. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because you guys know I have to use two concealers. It's just like my OCD or something. I don't know. And I'm just placing this everywhere that I would highlight. And then I'm going in with the Damp Beauty Blender, which is my tried and true. I love it so much. And I'm just blending out that concealer. And then once I've got that concealer blended out, I'm just going to go in with my... Ben Nye Banana Powder, another one of my favorites, and I'm going to use a Real Techniques blending sponge because I don't really like the blending sponge by Real Techniques for foundation or for concealer, but for powder, I think it's useful. So I'm just going to use that underneath my eyes and everywhere basically that I put the concealer. I am going to quote unquote bake because I don't really think what I do really count as baking. I don't wipe away the product. I kind of just pat it in. So that's just what I'm doing here. I'm taking the opposite side of the blending sponge and just patting in that product. And I find that this gives me the most flawless finish. I will link my foundation routine down in the description box just in case you guys are curious because I do go into much more detail in that video than I am right now. Now for mascara, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm just going to apply this to my top lashes just to prep them for my false lashes. And the false lashes that I am using today are by Velour Lashes and these are the Carly Lash. It took me forever to hop on this bandwagon but look at these lashes. They are so so stunning. I'm, I'm a lash girl. I love lashes. I get so excited over a good pair of lashes and this is no exception. This really, these lashes, just just look at these lashes for a minute. Just look at them. Come and put your name on. While the lash glue on my other lash is getting a little bit tacky, I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line a bit. I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Blacker Highlighter. I love this so much, you guys. I, I know you guys are getting a little tired of seeing me with black in my waterline like every single day, but like I just can't. I just can't get away from it. I can't. I haven't been able to. I've been trying and it's just nothing is the same. So I'm just putting this right in the waterline, pretty generously as per usual. And then I'm going to go into Coco Bear with that same small crease brush that's what it's called it's a small crease brush by makeup geek and I'm just gonna smudge that out a little bit it is gonna look a little bit messy and a little bit weird but that's okay because we are gonna make it blend a little bit easier I pinky promise so now I'm going in with corrupt on a Sigma e20 is this an e20 it's the short the very short smudger brush I believe it's the e20 and I'm just gonna smudge some of that black underneath my lower lash line just so that the Corrupt, I'm sorry, not the Corrupt, the Coco Bear and the eyeliner kind of blend a little bit more seamlessly, if you know what I'm saying. And because, of course, I love drama on my lower lashes, so I need some black down there at all times. And then just going back in with that small crease brush by Makeup Geek, one more time, I'm just going to blend out the lower lash line again, not with any additional product, just so that everything blends a little bit more seamless, a little bit more smoky, a little bit easier, a little bit nicer, you know what I'm saying. And then I'm going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara again, just on the lower lashes because you always got to hit the lower lashes with some mascara. Don't leave them by themselves, even if you only have two lashes. Just do it. Just do it. And then that completes the eye look. So these are going to be the finished eyes. 
such a beautiful foiled eyeshadow, guys. Just, just take a minute. Just take a minute. Then moving on to the face, I'm gonna contour using Shade Store. Shade Store? What? <laughs> Shade Stir Pro Contour Powder by MAC. And I'm using my NARS Eater brush like always. And I'm just chiseling away at my face. You guys see me do this all the time, so I'm just gonna speed through just a little bit. -o. For blush today, I'm using this Morphe blush palette that Jaclyn Hill talked about, so I had to purchase. I believe this is the 9B palette, and I'm grabbing that shade right there in that bottom right corner. And I'm using a brush from the Morphe Angel Merino collection to apply this instead of my usual 168 by MAC. Are you guys proud of me? Are you proud of me? And I actually really like this brush. So now I'm going in on my highlight, which is beautiful. It's by ColourPop, and this is Butterfly Beach. You guys, I just can't even explain these highlighters. I am so head over heels in love with them. I will link my review in the description box. I just posted it not too long ago and I am so smitten over these highlighters. There, there's just nothing that compares to these. Not even the expensive highlighters and these are only $8 a pop. I'm basically going into another review here so I'm just gonna stop talking about them. I'll link the review in the description box in case you guys are curious about them or you want to purchase them or you're thinking about it. The description box will have my review in there. So now I'm going in with Sculpt Pro Powder by MAC. Was that even like the right way to say that? Pro Powder by MAC. I think that was right. And I'm just using this on an angled fluffier brush just to contour my nose. Because you guys know I love to contour my nose. It's just, just something I have to do on a daily basis for no reason other than I like to. One of my favorite parts of this look is this lip color. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this lip color. This is by Colored Rain and this is in the color Sugar. I live for this color. I thought it would be a little bit too light for me, but once I line it, I find that it's actually really gorgeous and flattering. So I'm just applying this first before I line my lips all over. And then I am going to line my lips. Wait for the clip. Wait for the clip. Wow, this clip is taking longer than I thought. Here we go. So for lip liner, I'm going to use World by MAC, which I haven't used in so long because all the hype was getting a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just applying this on the outer corners of my lips and just shading them in in the slightest. And I find that this lip combo is so beautiful, guys. Just so beautiful. <laughs> As always, when I'm done with most of my face, I do like to go back and kind of redefine my contour a little bit. So with my NARS Eater brush, I'm grabbing Definitive by MAC, and I'm just very, very lightly. I know it looks like I'm going a little ham here, but I'm really not. I'm going so light-handed, and I'm just very slightly just defining that contour again. Then I'm spraying my face with Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And there, I did go a little ham. It looks like I'm going ham, but that's because I did. And then once you do that, then this look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. I really enjoyed filming this for you. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to check the description box for details to everything on my face. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!